Greetings Bond fans and welcome back to some Bond Geek Talks About with me your host Stevens, Henry Stevens. Everybody, how do you do? I hope you're all well, hope you've been enjoying a nice Bond film, a Bond book or a Bond game of your choosing. Right everybody, before we finally conclude our um, free part now, actually it's a list of actors who could have played James Bond in the past. We know that they were either being considered or declined for whatever reason. I want you to know everybody that if you like this video, that would just be amazing. Why not also subscribe? Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to see future updates from this channel. Also, everybody, if you are maybe wanting some other sort of content, why not check out our other channels? We've got some Geek Talks About, some Disney Geek Talks About, and some TARDIS Geek Talks About. All there for your pure enjoyment. As well as that, everybody, if you want to watch um, this, but you haven't got the time, you want to maybe just at least listen to it while you're working out or on the go to work or whatever, you can listen to the Some Geek Talks About podcast where all the channel's content goes on this one channel and it's all there for you to listen to whenever you want. You can find it on SoundCloud, Spotify and Apple Podcast, everybody. It's all there for you to enjoy. And what we're going to do for this episode is start off with a uh, person I was researching and found he was actually up for contention for James Bond at one point, but he turned down because he thought he wasn't good looking enough. But um, I think it would have certainly been interesting nevertheless. Wouldn't have been my choice. I just really did some more extra research on this, which was Michael Gambon. Yes, Michael Gambon, very famously now mostly known for um, Albus Dumbledore, was up for the role of James Bond. Um, personally, I think not really the best choice, but um, hey, he could have, I think, been interesting at least. Um, just weird that, even think about that. But when we left off as well, sorry, because we only just very briefed on Michael Gowan, because not much information. We were talking about, you know, potentials when Brosnan got cast. And another one I wanted to bring up was Paul McGann. Um, obviously now for me, Paul McGann is the eighth doctor. Um, he's been in so many other films I've enjoyed, like lesbian vampire killers. Yes, I enjoyed it. It's a guilty pleasure. Don't judge me too much. Um, but obviously he was in, um, Hornblower and um, Whittle and I, you know, he's just one of those great actors. Um, he was, um, basically, they just chose um, Pierce Brosnan over the role, um, but he was a potential one to take it if he didn't. Um, Paul McGowan, James Bond. I have to say, um, that's another big thumbs up for me. I think he would have been terrific. Um, I would have loved to see Paul McGowan as James Bond. He could have easily been a great James Bond. He could have easily been in Gone Eye, Tomorrow Never Die, as well as Enough and Die Another Day. Um, I think Paul McGowan, without a doubt, would have been an absolutely great Bond. And to me, he's one of those choices, if you look at the roles... You know, he you know, that would be like one of the utter great what ifs of the franchise if Paul McGann was James Bond. Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm I'm sold so much on the idea of Paul McGann. Um, but now we're going into the time when it was you know before Henry Cav, um, so not Henry Cavill, sorry Daniel Craig. So I'm thinking of Henry Cavill because I want him as the next James Bond, really. Um, but you know, before Daniel Craig was picked for Casino Royale, this was the time now, everybody. I'm, I was born in the 90s, so I grew up with Brosnan. So this was the first time, really, that um, there was, like, if you will, the um, the whole circus of finding a new actor. So I really got into it. And I, I learned some names at the times. So I don't know if they're true, like one being like Jude Law as a potential James Bond. I would have been okay with that. I think it would have been good, but um, I don't think anything great, but I do love Jude Law. But there were some um, actors up for the role, some different ones, like um, Sam Worthington. Um, you know, we could have had Sam Worthington as James Bond. If you're asking, he is English, but he grew up in Australia. Um, Sam Worthington as Bond. I can see it. I think he could actually have the acting chops for it. I think people underrate Sam Worthington a lot. Would he have been my first choice? No. Honestly, no. But hey, it could have been something, I think, of interest. Um... A name that kept popping up a lot, and I knew him as Cole from Charmed, and also Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four movies, um, who also, by the way, Ian Griffiths apparently was up for the role as James Bond as well, but I don't know too much about that. I think he was just one of the names of consideration. But Julian McMahon, um, Australian actor, as James Bond, um, would have been the second. <laughs> um, Julian McMahon as James Bond, I think that to me falls under, it's too obvious a part, like, you know, he looks the part, but would he actually been good for the part? if that made sense. Because um, I think, yes, you could easily see him as James Bond. Um, would he have been the right fit for it? No. And I'm not talking about, you know, because they were doing sorry, if they were, like, continuing on the franchise after Die Another Day like they normally do, I don't think he would have been the right person. He would have been just one of those, yeah, could have been potentials, but I just don't think would have been the greatest. Now, the next one I'm going to give a little shout-out to here is, um, I've always liked this actor. Um, you know, 
you know how we'll have our like personal favorites and a lot of people i know don't like this actor but i really like him and that is a uh, british actor clive owen uh, again he was potentially um up the role apparently he was um, unwilling to provide gross um, profit points um and obviously he did a little spoof as a nigel whatever something in that remake of pink panther uh, but clive owen as james bond i i was really behind with um i really liked that idea uh very much so um Am I upset it never happened? No, I've got to be honest, no. But it would have been interesting. It um, it would have been interesting, I think, to see Clive Owen as James Bond. I think he would have made a good one. I'm sorry. Um, I, st- I stand by that. I'm not upset as to say upset that um, you know it you know it never happened. But hey, again, one of those great what could have. But um, yeah, Clive Owen could have been James Bond, as well as Mission Possible Two villain star and a really another great English actor who doesn't get enough um credit. Do Gray Scott. Yeah, do Grace Scott. We don't know the reasons why, but um, he could have been James Bond. What do you all think about that? Me? Yeah, I can see that. I think that'd be a good choice. I've been very happy to see him in that. And talking about do Grace Scott as well, um, another actor, great English actor, still doesn't get the fame he wants. We know he was a potential when it was... I, I don't know quite when I'd have to look that up again, but it was the great English action star and great actor who still doesn't get enough credit. I've said that twice because I mean it. Um, do Grace Scott. No, it's not Drake Scott. And James Purefoy, sorry. <laughs> They'll slip up there. I'm going to keep that in just for the heck of it. Just for a good laugh. But yeah, James Purefoy could have been James Bond. Um, it's coming back to me. I think, obviously, it would have been great if they... Because they wanted to reboot the franchise, they wanted someone a bit younger, Craig. Um, but, you know, again, it was a contention. James Purefoy could have been James Bond. Again, that's another take my money. Just, just take my money. I would have been so happy and unbelievably happy to see that. I think it would have been really 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 cool to see that one absolutely 100 percent, hands down um now i'm gonna go into now actors um some more actors at the time but um did you know clint eastwood was up for james bond yeah clint eastwood he he felt bond should be british so he took himself out which is you know fair enough um but again we could have had clint eastwood as james bond just think about that again see this is why i love the list Think about it. We could have had Clint Eastwood, the man with no name from The Good, Bad and the Ugly, as James Bond. Um, do you think that would have worked? Do you not think it would have worked? Um, me? I'm... No, nah, it wouldn't have worked. I'm going back to Tom Mankritz. I'm only kidding you. Say, it's like casting an Englishman in a John Wayne part. It won't work. Um, but here's another choice. Um, apparently, he, um, basically, this person didn't want to start an action films at the time. Surprise, surprise, come now to 2021. But Liam Neeson... Liam Neeson was up for the role of James Bond. He turned it down because he didn't want to do action films. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. That's, again, a bit like um, Clive Owen or James Paul Verrill. Just take my money. The idea of Liam Neeson, Qui-Gon Jinn, you know, Taken star, playing James Bond. Yes. Oh, God, yes. Oscar Schindler from Schindler's List. Yes, it would have been so fantastic and so, so good. I really do, hands down, believe it. I think it would have just been absolutely fantastic um and we also had a potential for um replacement of craig it was um christian bell um i think fair to say everyone would agree a terrific actor and would be a great james bond around the house he just felt that he didn't want to be sort of stereotyped as batman and james bond um but hey i think he would have been absolutely fantastic i could see him doing a great run i think he would have done the role terrifically i think he'd been he would be a very very close incarnation of bond and would have just been a great and i'm sorry another one i'm gonna do it again just take my money christian bell is james bond i can see that i think it would have been absolutely brilliant but the one i've left to last is because we all i think have our favorites you know we always say you know if it's a great actor playing the role that's great fine that's what we care about the most but this person in particular i remember when it was like you know the speculation for craig got announced i wanted this person so badly to be the next james bond i really wanted this person i thought it would just been perfect and that was Ewan McGregor. Um, he turned down because, you know, he was known as Obi-Wan. Didn't want to be known as, again, um, as another big icon. Wanted to do other things. But Ewan McGregor, of all these people in this, would have been my utter favourite. My number one choice. I wish I could have seen play James Bond. I would have loved that so badly. It would have just been amazing. I love that idea of um, Ewan McGregor playing James Bond. I just think, yeah, that, that that's just right. It just, it, it's right in my head. I think it's just so perfect, and I just want to see that so badly. But everybody, that's the end of um, my list. There are plenty of other names that you can find online that could have played James Bond. Um, but I want to know, everybody, what, you know, we've now finished this. What do you think of all these people who could have been James Bond? How different could the franchise have been? 
Comment down below. Tell me what you think about this. As always, everybody, my name's Henry Stevens, and this has been some Bond Geek Talks About. Goodbye. <laughs>